That's a great question. So health and affects animal welfare, but animal welfare is more than just health. So as an example, without good health, an animal can't have good welfare, but animal welfare goes beyond that. It also includes the conditions in which they're kept, if they're feeling pain, the social interactions that they have, and the opportunities or the choices that they have available to them as well. So animal welfare encompasses both animal health and animal care. Both are needed for animals to thrive. Having good welfare can lead to good productivity and that then benefits the owners through better yields and less losses. If we think about it in terms of One Health, good welfare reduces the risk that animals get ill. And then if they do get ill, good veterinary care gives them their best chance of recovery. Both benefit the owner and the animal. Focusing on animal welfare improves how an animal grows and produces. This in turn improves the livelihoods for, and the income for their owners. It increases the amount of available source food for their owners and their community. And there's also connections with the satisfaction of the people that care for those animals as well, when they have the opportunity to provide them with better care and better welfare. It also benefits the environment by reducing animal losses because animal losses represent a wastage of inputs and resources. So there are three immediate actions that can be taken to improve animal welfare and development changes. The first is ongoing and direct investment in veterinary services to make sure that quality and affordable health care and support are being provided to the animals and their farmers. Welfare, secondly, needs to be integrated into projects and activities. So there's a conscious awareness of the needs of animals and that's gonna lead on to the flow and benefits to people. And then thirdly, investing in developing community and policy-led approaches to animal welfare is needed. Mm -hmm.